Jack Dowd, I'm a Sports Center analyst. It's a big day in uh, rec basketball news as Selection Sunday is upon us and we're on to the Sweet 16. I'm joined by bracketologist Matt Kroll and he will predict a winner for this year's rec ball championship. Nice to be here, Tarko. We got some great matchups in the first round. Let's start off. Let's get right into it. Sweet 16, we've got the number one seed in Magic led by Joe, the Wet Noodle Drost, and Bobby Tremblay facing the Pacers. Last seed. I'm just going to get right into this. They don't have a chance. Magic win. Blowout, baby. Let's move on to our next matchup. This 8-9 and nine seed right here, this is going to be a good game. Cavs and Kings. With the Kings, they're without their best player, Tom Quinn, arguably. I know, sorry, Dan Leonard, Terry O'Brien, I know. But the Cavs, I, I, don't, I don't really think the Cavs have much of a shot here. I think the Kings, led by Sean St. Marie, they're just going to dribble circles around them. So I'm picking the Kings in this one. All right, around our next game, we got Bulls, number four seed versus Munson, one, 13 seed. A lot of controversy surrounding the Bulls this year. Is Mike Goonan going to play? He didn't play. Spencer Lindley, obviously, talks some trash on the Rec Ball Facebook page. So we'll see how that turns out. I'm not giving Munson one much of a chance here. Munson, it's, it's Munson. So I'm going Bulls here. All right, round to our uh, 5 versus 12 game, which is the uh, Clippers versus Ludlow 1. Ludlow 1. Again, not much of a chance. <laughs> the Rain Man, Ray Sullivan for the Clippers. He's making it rain. Clippers by a blowout. All right. Uh, now we're on to the uh, Pelicans with a 2 seed and Ludlow 2 with a 15 seed. Pelicans kind of snuck into the 2 seed with a weak schedule. What are your thoughts? I agree with that. Not a great schedule, but they do have the talent to take over the Ludlow 2 here in the 15 seed. So I'm saying Pelicans. All right, we're on to our uh, number 7 seed versus our 10 seed. Which the Thunder, you've been talking a lot about in the pre-show, oh, and a lot of hype around it, and they're going to be playing the Grizzlies. What are your thoughts? Grizzlies, you know, not a lot of talent, but they take this very seriously. I'm expecting a scrappy game, but the Thunder are going to pull this out. Led by Mike Karam and Andrew Smith, I think they're going to make this a good game, close game. Thunder win. And uh, side note, which deep near throw will score more in that game? Definitely steep, because Matt sucks. <laughs> All right, Ron, to our... Uh, Number three versus 14, uh, 14 game, we got Munson three, the highest non wolverham seeded team sneaking into the three seed, and uh, they'll play an in-town rival of Munson two. Who you got? Now, I have never seen either of these teams play. That's not something a bracketologist should say, but who's going to want to watch Munson basketball? Not me. So I've got a uh, coin here. We're going to say tails, Munson two, heads, Munson three. So what do you got, Matt? I got heads. We're going Munson three. We're going Munson three to advance into the uh, Elite Eight. And uh, in our last game of Sweet 16, we got uh, the Raptors led by Nick Bouchard with the sixth seed playing against the Heat of uh, Billy Simmons. Billy Simmons kind of sleeper in the league. Uh, what are your thoughts? This is going to be a three-point barrage. We know Bouchard's a gunner. We've got Billy Simmons on this team. They're both specialists. I'm picking the Raptors because there's nobody within over six feet on that team that's going to stop Bouchard. Bouchard's going to go off. Raptors by a lot. All right, that concludes our uh, Sweet 16 picks. And uh, now let's go on to the Elite Eight. We've got the match between the Magic and the Kings. Magic led by Bobby Tremblay, an elite scorer in the league. What are your thoughts? You know what? This should be a good game, but I think the Kings are going to take a little too many pregame GBs for this one, so I'm taking the Magic in this game. So you believe narcotics will have an effect in the game? I do believe narcotics will have a heavy effect in this game. All right. And uh, moving on, we've got the Bulls and the Clippers. Uh, Bulls led by Andrew Demos, kind of some controversy in there with Mike Goonan. And, yeah. Uh, he leads scores of Contrino, Sullivan, and Plum. Contrino in this game, he's my man. I love Contrino. He's a great scorer, great player, great guy. Love him a lot. Love him like a brother. He's the man. Uh, Bulls, not a big fan of. I don't think anybody, Spencer Lindley, he's just not a great scorer. Demos, um, I don't know how I'm feeling about this team. Who's going to stop Contrino? If they're going to double him, who's going to guard Sully? Who's going to guard Plum? I'm taking Clippers in this one. All right, no surprise there. Uh, we'll move on to our Pelicans versus Thunder game, which is a rematch of uh, last night's game. Uh, Thunder took that one by uh, 15. What are your thoughts? This is one of my favorite matchups in this whole entire bracket. Like Turco said, Thunder won this game won this game by 15 last night. But Matt LeBranch, best, one of the best players in the Pelicans, he wasn't there. Assuming he shows up, this is going to be a hard-fought game. But, you know, two-seed Pelicans here, seven-seed Thunder. I'm taking the diaper dandies, baby. Here come the Thunder. They're rolling, baby. Let's go. Signs of Dickie V. And uh, to conclude our Elite Eight matchups, we got uh, Munson 3 versus the Raptors. Again, Munson 3. You know, they are the best Munson team. I will give them that, but... 
Who's gonna stop Nick Bouchard? I'm the, who's gonna stop him? Somebody please answer answer me. Who's gonna stop Nick Bouchard? Not once in three. Raptors. Not once in three, as the uh, bracketologist Matt Kroll puts it. All right, now we are on to our final four. Last Let's team go. alive in the tournament. We got in the semifinal, first semifinal matchup, we got Magic versus the Clippers. This is gonna be a good one. This is a good one right here. One thing I should say, Magic without Tyler Grono. Ouch. I'm not just saying ouch because he punched the wall and broke his hand. <laughs> I'm saying ouch because that's going to hurt them. That takes away from their three-headed scoring monster of Drost, Grono, and Trembley. And I don't think they have the defensive firepower to stop Contrino, my man, you know. Contrino, Sullivan, and Plum. I'm taking the Clippers in a very close game on this one. You get a score for us? I'm predicting 64-61. Wow. All right. And to another semifinal game. We got the Thunder and the Raptors. Another tightly contested matchup. What do you thought? Another one. Another one. Six seven here. Who would have thought six seven seeds are gonna make it here? But <laughs> they did, according to me, because I said so, they're gonna make it. Okay, so we got Thunder Raptors. You know, this all depends on which Nick Bouchard is gonna show up for this game. Is it gonna be the give it to Nick and clear out of the way, or are the birds gonna show up? In my opinion. In my opinion. The isolated Nick Bouchard is going to show up. And I think that Walbridge holding down the paint, he's going to shut him down. He's not getting inside the paint. He's not scoring. Thunder in a close one. Yeah, Low Walbridge, scoring game. Definitely a defensive presence down low. Now we got your predicted matchup for the championship game is the Clippers and the Thunder. Both highly sought after when the original Red Ball Power Rankings came out that you predicted before the prize first game. A couple of them slipped. They moved around, not yep. one and two seeds as mm -hmm. we imagined, mm -hmm. but they're there. What are your thoughts? Here they are, stuck with these guys. You know, I'm telling you, I can't say enough about this Contrino guy. He's he's a great player, great athlete, great friend. I love him. But the Thunder, the Diaper Dandies, baby. George Mason, VCU, NC State, going all the way. I got the Thunder as my 2015 Rec Ball champions. Who's gonna stop them, baby? There you have it, folks. Matt Kroll, the underdog thunder coming to 7th seed. We'll have more coming up.